people in South Africa. Now, during the end of World War, or I'd say, that's when the British actually brought uh, predominantly Indians and Chinese, Asian people, in the, yes, from the slavery. Uh, they were brought in South Africa to work and also to work in sugar plantation farms and cotton farms. Mm -hmm. So that's why you saw that contraption outside onto the opposite side. So what happened is that when they started fighting, then they started going into the Dutch side. So that's why Gandhi became so prevalent and also befriended one of the Dutch leaders uh, as a friend actually during the time and even stating how he loves him actually. But Gandhi was never for black people. Gandhi perceived himself as equal as into the whites. Yeah. But when he was arrested in 1908, that's when he found out that he wasn't treated the same as the whites. That's when he Oh, he got his Indian wake up call. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's when he got his wake up call coming here in 1908. Now treated the same as the Africans. So we have different collages of him and uh, I'd say some of the uh, statements that he wrote and some of the books that he wrote. So these are the different collages of these two great men. Okay. Yes, everyone, he was never for black people, but with the history that we have, Gandhi actually was actually in prison jail at one point. Uh -huh. Now, everyone, I'll give you five minutes. When we're done from here, we are leaving section number four, going okay. into the old fort, looking okay. at the Mandela cell, then to the constitutional court. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Boy, you put the camera. The camera was around. Keep your job. Somebody. No, no. Put the camera. When I want the camera, I cannot say my job because I'm a huge my job. Okay. So that was the same thing. Okay. Okay. He kept it. He kept it. He kept it clean for you. He kept it. He gave. He gave. He gave what we needed to hear. One on one. Ask the question. Keep it real on one on one. But I was like, I was like, my, I told her I wasn't going to talk to her. Uh, <laughs> uh, no. This is uh, great marketing. That's the best I can actually That's say. That's part of this, is that the fact that, is that Gandhi, Gandhi is a beauty. He was a prison dog. And so that's why he gets, but he said everybody's well aware of what he did, his role. But he did say that they had the same suffering under the British regime. And for that reason, they ended up underneath. And the fact that he was here, that's a thing, because everybody doesn't have the same way of looking at it. So he said they're well aware, but being able to say that Gandhi was a prison here is a thing. So we talked about the fact that part of the reason we don't survive or elevate is because even when people don't do as well, we curate spaces for them. And I said to him, looking at this is like, is like Gandhi, it's like, like Mandela Africana. Mandela Africana. I said, I can't even take a picture, but I keep mixing this crap in. And he was like, I respect it. I said, you couldn't even give him a little section. Why you gotta mix him all through? Like, what if I don't wanna come visit him? And he said, I respect it. He was a little more candid without the camera. But it's true, I don't, I don't wanna have an experience where it's Gandhi Africana. I don't come here for that. Respectfully. Yeah, and you know I love me some Brianna, it ain't got nothing to do with the Indians. It's him specifically and how he looked at it. Because India's on my list. It's just that that dude did not check for me specifically and wrote a letter to the British calling us animals. So you can find somewhere else to be comfortable. And I'm done. And I said what I said. It's a break it down, family. And that's the that's the, you know that's the situation we're dealing with, family. Uh, you know, but we do understand the level of marketing that people do because those who invest in these sites, you know, they're gonna do what they need to do as far as marketing. But uh, you know, people want to hear the truth. Uh, so, but yeah, it would be, it would been ideal to this uh, to maybe even separate. Where's the Nelson, Where's the Mandela statue? I don't see it yet. Maybe he could. Maybe when we go to where he was. But yeah, that's the issue that uh, it's, I mean, it makes no sense. So the second time I came here, family, and I just I'm trying to find a Nelson Mandela statue. We're gonna go to that side. We don't have a statue, but we do have uh, an exhibition. Come so how does Gandhi get a statue? And Nelson Mandela doesn't. Uh, you know what? No, no, the nice thing is that. Indian people donated for this. We, you know, I heard the same thing in Ghana when yeah. they did the statue. They said the Indians Indian donated yes. money. We do not, in, we do not donate anything. We have so many black billionaires or millionaires. They still don't do anything. What about our tax? What about our tax? What about our tax? What about our tax dollars? Yeah. What about our tax, yeah. <laughs> tax dollars in government that don't count? Uh, don't the people in South Africa pay taxes? Ah, uh, doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> So, my brother, are we going to go down to the, the, the cells? Yeah. Yeah.
Are we going to go down to the cells? Yeah, we're going to go into the cells, but I want us to go to the side. Then when we're done, I'll bring you onto the side. Because it's too far for the distance of us working. You want to wait? Where's the rest of everyone? Yes, uh, there's still more still standing. So I want us to go onto that side so we can finish on time. Then we can come back to the side. I didn't know we had hot dates or <laughs> things like that. But <laughs> I just took up my tight dates. People like myself are getting old, man. You got us running all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> no, so it's because why? We have our children to us on the hour. That's why. Now, my, this is what my brother was saying. He was saying the reason why there's a Mandela statue and not a, um, sorry, the reason why there's a Gandhi statue and not a Mandela statue is because the Indians donated money. Same thing in Ghana. That's why they had a statue in Ghana because the Indians donated money to, for a statue. <laughs> so everybody, so he was basically saying that all of, all, of, all, of, all of the black peoples of the world didn't donate money for a statue. I love the excuses and the reasons. I know, that's what I was going to say. Like, I, 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 I thought all of us pay tax dollars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But is this... But you know what, Romani? If you don't challenge what they say, you have to, you know, then the next generation is not going to know anything. Absolutely. So we're trying to give clarity That's for right. people that have critical thinking. Yes. Because yes. you would literally just see the Mandela and the Gandhi and like, oh, oh my God, he's two great guys. Yes. They were so awesome That's together. That's what he said, though. These two great men. He's talking to Basically, two of them. Yeah. But unfortunately, the people who invest in these things, yeah. they have their agenda. And yeah, there's talking points. You got to hit. But now, okay, this is this is a different group. Yeah. I keep on forgetting this is a big place. In a little bit, he's gonna have us walk all the way back. <laughs> Uh -huh. so yes, fam, we all dressed in our red, black, green, and we're here at Constitutional Hill, which is an incredible presentation. He's throwing me off completely. Because he has us running, he has us going back and forth. It's usually the presentation is in a sequence. You know, like just like I wrote it in the book. Yeah, I think it's choking his brain. <laughs> yeah, 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 didn't hear, yeah, didn't hear we say that. But focus on all this beautiful red, black, and green color right there, family. You know, he's gonna have us walk all the way back there because we, we missed the cells. Okay. You know, I don't have an expectation, so I'm not disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> you have an expectation, so you're disappointed. Oh, yeah, because... Because um, you know better. Uh, yeah, it's a kind of a sequence. Because you know better. Because you know better. You expect it. I'm going around and taking it in. You got this guy up. They give, give you a jacket, too? So, family, the old fort at Constitutional Hill. As I was telling you, long of two feet. So, we see when you start Uh The weedy cell, which is on to the other side. Yeah, so we're gonna. Uh, the woman's jail, uh, that will be a soft guy. 